Are you all right, Jason? You're a bit nervous. Don't oh. be worried. <laughs> we don't spy. We don't it's spy. The guys yeah, they're like, nervous. oh, what are we doing here? And that song you just walked on to was um, Bonnie Tyler. Was your wedding dance, wasn't it? What's the title of the song? Total Eclipse of the Total Heart. Total Eclipse of the Heart. That's it. Yeah. I love yeah. that one. You can sing it to each other. Why did you? Exactly. Why did you choose that? Is that is why we chose it. Is because, it? Yeah. We used to sing it in the kitchen with each other. You know, it it's good for taking turns, yeah. yeah. isn't it? With a teaspoon. Yeah. <laughs> You can do a line each, can't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's in charge of planning your wedding? <laughs> <laughs> really? Did yeah. you let Laura do everything? Um, what aspects did you take responsibility? You're quite laid back, I hear. Yeah, I did. Yeah, there was only one thing, wasn't there? I, I sorted out the car because we drove our own car from the church to the venue for a bit of peace and quiet. It wasn't quite as no, smooth yeah. as you're pretending. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to winkle out the truth. <laughs> that one, no, that what one thing you have to do. Uh, what was it that you said? Well, because what happened was we got offered. Um, like, so Jason said, oh, um, it'll be nice, you know, if I can drive you from the church to the venue, yeah. a bit of time together. Everybody says you need to take a minute. And I was like, oh, sounds like a lovely idea. And this is like, I don't know, a year out from the wedding. Jason's like, right, I'm going to get a Morgan. And I'm like, oh, OK, sounds Sports nice. Car, yeah. yeah, but we then get towards the end and somebody actually, after the Olympics, somebody offered us a car, um, to which they were like, oh, I'll go on the website. I choose one you want to borrow. So what did I say? That uh, we chose an Aston, like a nice classy Aston. Yeah, nice. so I'm thinking this nice fun. silver car is going to turn exactly. up. Oh, yeah. Get there. And it was a bright green Lamborghini. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Why the job church? you had? <laughs> Very hard to get into. Yeah, so I put my foot through the dress trying to get into it. Oh, <laughs> oh, it was fun. By Everybody was talking was about you after the Olympics, and I know that you wanted your wedding to be very private and family, and because I'm sure you were offered magazine deals and all sorts. How difficult was it to keep it private? Because everyone was talking about you, wanted to know what you were doing yeah. in life. And well, we kept it as low key as we could. So we only actually had 63 people at like the daytime bit. Um, and we told everyone, everybody from British Cycling that they won't come into the daytime. <laughs> They're all for the evening. Um, so not actually that many people knew. Like, so we didn't have to tell many people, you know, you need to keep it quiet. Um, and then when we were on any sort of TV interview, we just uh, told a little porky <laughs> <laughs> and just said it wasn't until next year. And, the, and way it worked. You, the way you announced it was you to put a picture up with you with the dogs the next day, yeah. didn't you? Jason so did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's lovely, yeah. really lovely. Oh, yeah. There yeah. it is, there. There's the picture. Oh, bless oh, them. Lovely. Now, little who's doggy. the dog lover, both of you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Awesome. Given that you've got such a strict regime, what you eat, how you exercise and everything else, are dogs allowed well. in Team GB? <laughs> <laughs> I think you can argue they're good for morale, can't you? Yeah. So, you know. yeah is that so do, they not, do they not normally let you have pets or something when you're an athlete or is it because of germs or no it's not so much that it's just like dogs are obviously hard work like it's a lot of walking around um like you obviously have to exercise them that's right because i heard that you can't you can only walk for so long and if you go on the tube you have to be careful that you can't in case you don't get a seat yeah. why is that i don't well our legs are our machines so yeah. the minute we get on the bike you want to feel as good as you physically can um, yeah. and that's not just at races that's all training sessions you only do so many training sessions before um an event so to get the most out of it you have to rest as much as you can so yeah, little things like going to the supermarket. And, and we don't hoovering, do that. I read in the book hoovering. Yeah, we did hoover. get laps. Yeah, with um... what a perfect excuse. Is that just an excuse? That's just an excuse. I was going to say, I'm training for the next Olympics, Tokyo <laughs> Olympics, Team JSP. <laughs> I can't push my trolley. So you, I find this incredible. So you don't walk anywhere. Uh, we tried to keep it to the minimum, yeah. So what's the longest step. you could be, you know, if yeah. we made you stand up? Do you find it hard to, like, stand well, yeah. for long periods? Yeah, so? we get backache if we stand up, yeah. yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, so you're just thinking, thinking you're think so it, you? highly yeah. kind of tuned athletes. You'd think you'd be fighting fit, but you... That that's tricky for you. Yeah. Like as an as like an athletics person, I think like obviously they spend their time running around and walking and stuff. Yeah. But our training really isn't like we're spent literally yeah. bent over, yeah. like you don't stand care up. Weight, and, do we? no. Now I'd like to know how you met because I love a good love story. <laughs> so was he on a bike somewhere? Did you see him whizzing <laughs> past you in his helmet? It's so nice. <laughs> Yeah, who well, clapped eyes on who <laughs> first? What happened? Well, the first time um, that I actually knew of Jason was actually in a magazine, um, and he was like number six or something, something on, because obviously he went to the Beijing Olympics on like the best people of that year. And um, so I was like, oh, you know, he's 20, like that's going to be the same age when I get to London 2012, you know? And then didn't think anything of it. And then um, the first time, I, I moved up to Manchester when I was 18 to be part of the Great Britain programme, and everyone's really friendly. You walk into the mechanic,
bikes and they're like morning morning and because i was new i was like oh okay hi like Eager not really talking to anybody <laughs> yeah <laughs> so chris comes up to you i'm sir chris Hoy, and you're like oh starstruck because he's like a legend in our sport and then jason just sat there drinking a cup of coffee <laughs> nothing <laughs> 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 um, I, I'm just terrible at first impressions, I think. Yeah. Oh. So <laughs> how did you build on that? Um, so I then, yeah, we were at a World Championships and I broke my own headphones and Jason Kenny's were just on the chair. I thought, oh, why not? He won't mind. Just took them, <laughs> broke them, to which I was like, how am I going to tell him that I've just snapped his headphones? <laughs> and then that broke the ice and then that was the icebreaker then. We get some pretty fabulous guests here on Loose Women. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces and click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to really.